filters. They do. And this one's all full of little metal chunks and stuff from that crankshaft breaking over there and then grinding on metal. Now what we're going to do right here is we bent this little tab back again. We're going to take this nut off and get this gear off. Then we're going to come to this one. You got to take a snapping off and then you got this little piece. And then there's little springs back there. There's six of them I believe. And you don't want to lose them when you take that off of there. What we're going to do is stick a piece of copper in there to keep that from turning. A penny works real good for this, but I'm hoping this wire should work because I don't have a penny with me right now. Just don't want to make sure you use steel or anything because that'll wreck your gears. And these, when you put them back together, there's like timing marks on them too. And what this is, this is your balance shaft. It's not your camshaft, your camshaft's up in your head. These things have a balance shaft on them because it makes them run smoother because it's got a single cylinder with a four stroke. And then you got a little key here. You want to make sure you don't lose that either. Now we got a snap ring pliers here. Slide our snap ring off. There's this little tang. Yep, them springs are staying on there halfway. So what you're going to want to do is take them springs off and put them in with the actual piece. But that there does not come off. That'll be pressed off later after we have our uh, great case separated. Now what we're going to do here is remove our oil pump. There's three. Number three Phillips head screws in there that we got to take out. You could do this with a hand impact driver, but I got an attachment for an impact wrench that so I can just do it this way. There we go. Now what we got to do is remove this oil line inside of here. Okay, now what we got to do, this is the secondary shift drum. The primary shift drum is that down there. This is the secondary one, and what we have to do is take this off, slide this stuff off, then there's this here, and there's going to be a spring under it, and then a ball on the bottom. And that's what kind of holds this in place when you click it. There's a ball down in there that's pressured into it to hold that shaft in place. So we're going to remove those two right now. And there's your spring. And down in there is a ball. There we go.
Well, I just stuck the crankshaft and this case in the press and uh, pressed it apart to get that uh, crankshaft out of there because the crankcase separator was not working with that busted off crankshaft end. So now what we have to do is I need this piston. So I got the sir clip in here. I got it, grabbed it here and kind of worked it around. Now I got the end of it here. I got to work it out of here now. Should really put on a pair of safety glasses. These things go flying, you don't want it in your eye. Just make sure you hold your hand over this so that it can't go flying. And there you go. The sir clip is out. And you want to note the way this piston is, there's an arrow on it here. And that arrow points to the exhaust side. So you want to make sure you get it on the other one the exact same way. You're just going to take and push from the other side and slide this rod up and out. You don't have to slide it all the way out just so that the piston will come off like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start with this case half here. Take it to our parts washer and clean it all out, get all the junk out of it. Then we'll have to go to that half. First we'll have to take the transmission stuff out. Then we'll clean that stuff all up. Okay, we'll just kind of show you around the shop a little overview here. We got everything apart and cleaned up now, so we're ready to reassemble. Now, start here by oiling up all our bearings. We just got this full uh, engine oil. Get all the bearings looped back up after we uh, had them in the parts washer and everything. Most important thing is you don't want that engine to start dry. Ready? Okay, now we're going to start putting the transmission back in and we're going to start at the top here and kind of work our way that way. We're going to start here with our uh, output shaft with its gear sets here. And we have to get these uh, shift forks back on here where they go. And we should hopefully be able to set this back in here and then get our uh, shifter here. This is where those little pegs on these uh, shift forks have to line up onto. You have to get those pegs into these grooves on here. So you don't want to fully slide these in until you got this here. Then you kind of got to get it to all slide in at the same time. 